I was actually delighted with the first half. I thought we looked very bright. We got ourselves into some extremely encouraging areas. Two wide players that really forced the game and, and caused problems. The goal that they scored, I think, was the first sight of goal that they had. Certainly more to be done um, in the build up to that, but the reaction I felt was very good. We got ourselves back on level terms quickly. And in all honesty, I felt we should have made more of the first period. Um, final ball, final choice. Um, you know, the, the areas that we got into were, were extremely encouraging. And as history will tell us now, the first half passed us by, we didn't make enough of it. The second half was, was just not at the same sort of level. There, there was a lack of sharpness, there was a lack of um, you know, real passion about the lads' play. Um, I don't know whether that's a bit of fatigue in certain areas, it's quite possible. But you know, the expectation for the group, all of us in that locker room, believe that, that we should certainly be making more of the, the, the second period. And there were just too many times that we allowed them to, to get off of the hook and to, uh, you know, to relieve the pressure without really asking a question. And that, that I felt was the biggest problem. Um, some good opportunities, some good areas, some good moments, but just not enough quality at vital moments. Oh, you subbed out both wingers in the second half there. Was that more of a fatigue thing or a game plan to try and find that winner? Well, it's a big dimension to the group, as you saw in the first period. I thought Alan was terrific in the first half. He was very bright. Um, likewise, Colton got into very good areas. Um, you know, was, was involved in the goal. And the second period, both of those guys, for one reason or another, were nowhere near as productive. And I felt Rapapa might be able to give us something on the left-hand side. I looked at their group and the midfield players, I didn't feel were doing anywhere near a good enough job to, to, uh, you know, to get across and to stop the wide players coming inside. Um, unfortunately, because of that lack of balance on the left, he ended up staying inside a little bit too long. But what he did give us was, a, was another attacking option. And he certainly came into the game with a real bright and purposeful attitude, which I felt we were lacking in the second half. Um, but we, you know, we just didn't come out of the locker room with the same sort of mentality as, as we'd finished the game. Um, and and that, that has to be down to attitude and, and maybe a little bit of fatigue, as I said. You know, some bodies that, you know, for the most part, those guys have had a rest in the week, though. Um, I would expect that they're able to to maintain the sort of level and pressure that, that we'd seen in the first period. But you know, we have to give Charlotte some credit. I thought they managed the ball much better in the second period. And they always had a little bit of a threat with the front lads who were very bright and, and pacey. So that that's always in the back of everyone's mind and to be perfectly honest though, we, we, we should be taking care of business here. Um, and that's the biggest disappointment, that we just didn't ask enough questions in that second half. Last season when you guys went down, you had a really tough time coming back to capture points. Is there a little bit of consolation in, in coming back for the draw or is it all disappointment that you couldn't find the winner? I honestly felt, having got back on level terms that quickly, that this would be the moment. There were, there were really encouraging signs. Um, you know, when you think about some of the opportunities and the, the positive play that we saw in the first period, th there's no reason to believe that this shouldn't be the day that we're going to recover and win a game from a goal down. It just didn't work out that way in the second half. Um, look, you know, we're still searching for that moment. I don't think it's for a lack of effort. There's never any question, I've mentioned that before, the foundation of the group is based on good attitude, great effort, um, and, and lots of determination. The thing that's let us down this evening is a second period that, that in the most part looked a bit flat. 
and lacking the ideas that we saw in the first half. There was, there was some really nice dimensions to our play, some good give and goes, some nice third man runs, some great individualism in the second period that deserted our play. Um, now there's no reason for me to believe other than guys lost a bit of focus, um, maybe just got lulled into a full sense of security with some good territorial possession, but possession doesn't equate to points. You gotta make something of it. There's been... Did Charlotte do anything different in the second half? to make it difficult for you, or was it just a lack uh, on your own? I mean, listen, they made one change. Um, the, the lad Roberts that came on right side of centre back, I can only imagine that the, the lad and Darm was either injured or the manager was un unhappy with his performance. It's normally the two reasons. We had had a lot of joy down our left-hand side. Um, did that make a difference to us being as tepid as we were in the second half? can't believe that one player, maybe the, the, the manager was able to look at one or two areas of, of their performance and you know, stick a little bit of a flea in their ear about their first half display and they came out looking slightly brighter. Um, and in fairness, if they hadn't, then they may well have fallen foul, so credit to them. But no, the game at home is really about us. We have to force the issue. It's down to us to make things happen and ask questions and, and constantly put an opposing back line under pressure. I, I did honestly think in the first half when we were able to ask questions, good crosses, balls served into areas or, or, or played in behind for third man runs, I didn't think they dealt with it great. You know, and, and, and against teams that have conceded goals, and they have, and against teams that, like Charlotte, who haven't been in good form, you got to keep asking questions. Because the more questions you ask, the likelier it is, the more chance you've got of them not being able to find the right answer. And, and we didn't do it in the second half. As simple as that, we didn't do it. Seems like there's kind of been a trend lately where you guys get off to really good starts and there's like a dip kind of an ebb and flow. What do you, through 11 league games now, what's kind of, what do you kind of say next well, to the guys? Well, actually, we didn't get off to a good start, did we? Because we went one down. For the first 14 minutes uh, yeah, before okay. the goal. Um, over the last four or five games, I think a feature has been that we've looked, you know, very purposeful in those opening exchanges. There's been a much better format to our play. It's the first time I believe we've conceded um, in that opening period for a good while. Um, I, look, I, 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 don't, I don't have the answers or the reasons why the guys looked a little bit flat in the second period. Um, I thought the recovery was good, as I said. I honestly felt that the first half performance was as bright as we've seen. It certainly was as exciting as we've seen. Did we get enough clear sights of goal? probably down to poor choices and poor execution than anything else. Second half was completely good. Was Libo's goal exactly the way you drew it up, the rebound? Who's that? Well, Libo's goal. Uh, look, I'm, I'm really pleased, as I've said, that we, we were able to get ourselves back in the game quickly. Um, I'd, I'd certainly felt as though our play deserved to be at least on level terms. The, the one thing that is a tad disturbing for me, as I sit here and uh, I have to be careful about the way that you know, I talk about defending because too many people are critical that my style is just about defending, which everyone's entitled to their opinion, of course. But I am concerned that teams are not making bundles of chances against us in the first real clear-cut moment that Charlotte had. They scored. That's disappointing. You know, we have to hold ourselves to better standards than that. And if you're not under serious pressure as a back line or, or, or as a defensive group, you know, we have to deal with those moments in a far better fashion. Um, you know, today, one goal would have been good enough to beat Charlotte. 
Um, I know there were a couple of uh, maybe uh, airy scary moments in that second period where they broke well, but the reality is they didn't actually threaten our goal to any serious degree. Um, you know, to, to concede in the fashion that we did at that point, that, you know, that's another, another disappointing area for me. Don't tell too many people though, because they'll be picking that up in the press and saying that's all I'm worried about. <laughs> Thank you, Coach.